Hi there, my name is Inga and I am a botanical artist. One of my favorite things to do is to build flowers out of hand painted paper. Here's a sample of one of my shadow box pieces. I would love to take you behind the scenes and show you how I created this paper coral charm peony. So I hope you enjoy this little peek into how I make what I make. Let's go. One of the first things that I do is mix paint so that I can paint the petals. And here I am using some drops of liquid watercolor. It's one of my favorite paints to use when making paper flowers. So I really take the time to get the color just right. I mix and I test until the shade looks just right for the flower that I'm making. Next I start applying the paint layer by layer to gradually build up a natural looking gradation on all of my petals. Once I've painted all my petals and I've set them aside to dry, then I move on to building other parts of the flower. Here I'm working on the center of the peony. I'm building the carpels by gradually applying strips of glued paper to create the shape that I'm looking for. And here I'm cutting painted paper into a fine fringe to use as the stamen of the flower. Once I've got the center of the flower built and put together, I move on to shaping the petals. Crepe paper has such a wonderful texture that's perfect for stretching into incredibly natural petal shapes. And then I start applying all the petals onto my center, taking care to place each petal so that it mimics the actual pattern of the flower that I want to recreate. And then when my flower is complete, I get it ready for framing. I begin by mounting the flower onto a backing board using the stem wire and securing that with permanent artist's mounting tape. This one is now ready to frame and I've placed it in an open face shadow box that I have custom made in my local frame shop. I love how you can really see and feel the texture of the flower using this open frame. On the back, I've got a signed information card as well as a hanging wire, so this piece is ready to go. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope this little peek behind the scenes will leave you feeling inspired about paper flowers. If you'd like to know more about me and my work, check out my website at ingailzapeterson.com. I also have full tutorials on Patreon if you're interested in learning how to make paper flowers. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you soon.